Okay, so we're going to continue um, to assemble this pipe vise. Uh, next, what I want to do is go ahead and throw this uh, screw in there. Now, on the screw, you can note that this thing is upside down. If you look over in this other view, it's upside down. Well, we've got different ways of, of getting that there, but the easiest way, I think, probably is to constrain and use the insert. Now, inserts used for cylindrical type shapes and you pick the faces that you want to make uh, that circle the indication on that circle uh, that face right there now is going to made up with either one of these two circles the actual face that those circles are on uh, when we pick this and then the uh, axes of those two pieces will made up as well and there you can see how they came together so now what we've got is we've got that thing oriented like it's supposed to be the problem is this jack screw won't move up and down see if we look over here in this view that thing moves up and down just like it would uh, if it were the real thing so we have to go back to this uh, this adjusting screw and note I clicked on that and I move over here to the left in the browser and there we can see the uh, pipe vise adjusting screw now Originally, it'll look like this, and you'll have to hit that plus there and expand that out. And there's the insert that we just in, uh, put the constraint on. So what we're going to do is right-click on that and just delete that. So essentially what we did was we, we, we reoriented this uh, screw. And now what we're going to do is go back and constrain it again, but we'll use just the mate and we'll pick the axis of the screw and the axis of this uh, cylinder on the uh, fork and hit OK and now you can see it, it will move up and down on that axis it is aligned with the axis and it'll still uh, spin like a screw would so uh, I, I've reoriented it and then taken that away and gone in and uh, Put the mate in so that it'll move up and down on that cylindrical uh, surface. The next thing we want to do is put in these two guides. Okay, well, again, they're not oriented properly either. So uh, let's go ahead and do the, the back one here. Now, the problem is uh, if we go in here and I'm going to turn the visibility off on this one, we can see what's going on there as far as that goes. But you can see that the faces that, that I've got made it up here are the, is the uh, face of the screw here on this piece, that face on the screw, and then the face on this uh, piece right here. Well, that, that face is actually back in here. So if we rotate this around a little bit, you can see a little bit better. But that's actually this face right here. <coughs> excuse me now one thing I say is that is a nice cylindrical uh, edge right here but this one doesn't quite match up to that uh, because of the arc that's going on here so it doesn't like to pick this edge right here but you can pick this one so keep that in mind when we're doing this uh, project so we're going to go in there and yeah, I could rotate this around like so probably it would be okay I'll move this in a little closer so we can zoom in there and we'll go in and do a constraint and again we'll do insert and I'm gonna pick this face and I'll pick that face now once it gets uh, I don't know if I actually got the first face okay so there I got it and that appears to be okay so I'm gonna hit okay now realize this thing will still spin around here okay and that's fine okay uh, and also while I'm messing with this what might be good is I'll click on that uh, adjusting screw and right click and ground it now it won't move up and down but I can move this one around as need be Okay, so that, that uh, puts that in, in position. Now the other thing is we 
we can move this piece around here. Well, in reality, that's not the way that works. See, it's it's actually hitting over here, and it's you know, it's going to hit on one side or the other there if we're not careful. So what we're going to do is we'll go in there, and we're going to assign an angle to that so we can keep the orientation parallel, if you will. So we'll go in, and we'll use the angle, and we'll pick this face and any face that you want it to be parallel to. Okay, and we'll let that do its thing. And you can see it's zero right now, uh, or you could go, in that case, you might even go uh, 180. And you can see it flipped it around. But we don't want 180, we want zero. And hit OK. And now this will not spin anymore. It's it's locked in. So even if we go back to the the screw here and turn that grounding off, you know this screw will still spin. And let me back out here a little bit. The screw will still spin, but this piece is locked in. So it'll only move up and down uh, with that screw. So that's exactly what we're after there. Well, let's go ahead and put in this uh, last. Uh, piece here. Now we could do this several different ways. Uh, what might be appropriate, um, we could do it just like we did the other piece and go in there and, you know, do an insert this edge here to that same edge on the uh, on the screw. But what we can do on this one might be just as easy would be to constrain and do a, an insert and just pick this circle here and that circle there. Okay, and we'll hit OK. Normally, I would just hit Apply, but what? But I'll, yeah, I just got out of that. Unfortunately, I just double clicked that, and it got me into the part and out of the assembly. So I just go back up here to the top and double click the assembly. And I guess before I do anything else, I'll probably hit that Save button. Okay, so now what we're going to do then is note this piece right here still moves. So if you don't like that idea, and I'm going to ground this, see this piece will spin all over. Well, we'll spin that out of our way, and then what we're going to, and I can do several different things here. I could do a, an insert where I could pick this uh, face here with the circle and roll, rotate it around and pick the, the other face. But really on that, all I need is a constraint of I want to grab this axis and I can grab any of these axes here and that will line that up and it locks it in now so it can't uh, can't get away from me I'm going to unground that screw so this whole thing will move up and down now unfortunately in Inventor we can't um, control the the direct the distance this is moving I believe in 2011 we'll be able to but for 2010 we can't but this thing moves up and down on that axis and eventually you can see it's starting to get into that radius piece so there's a little bit of an issue there it really shouldn't go past this edge right here uh, otherwise it's going to be gouging in so um, I think we'll stop there uh, for that video and then we'll come back and, and uh, put these other, piece, other pieces in uh, I don't want to get too long on this on this video